Hi friends, welcome to my channel and this is sixth video in Veeam um, Backup and Replication Advanced Training. So in this video I'm going to show you how to add Microsoft Hyper-V cluster to Veeam. In the last video we have uh, checked how to add a hyper a standalone Hyper-V host in a Veeam Backup and Replication and in this video we are going to focus on Hyper-V cluster uh, to add in Veeam Backup and Replication. So let's start so this is my lab environment in this for this video so we have a uh, four virtual machine is um, in use in this video so the first virtual machine is a uh, same domain controller which is win 2 k 12 dc01 and you can see active directory and dns role is running on this machine and my domain name is victorinfosol.com so let's verify here so you can see active directory and dns role is running on this machine so we can open hack to deck to users and computers and you can see our OUs, our servers, our VMs, everything is there. So and the second machine is Veeam uh, a Veeam backup and replication server which is Veeam uh, win 2 get 12 hyphen Veeam and this is also joining my domain so this is the machine which we have installed in a second video so I'm going to open a Veeam backup and replication console my Veeam backup server so it's loading now So in last video we have added our Hyper-V host so I have just shut down that Hyper-V host because we are not using it right now so you can see the machine is standalone machine is off for now so no issues we are going to add a cluster here so you can see also if your host goes down you can see in unavailable servers so uh, now we are going to focus to add a Hyper-V cluster uh, in Hyper-V uh, Veeam backup and replication so we have two uh, host uh, which is in Hyper-V cluster the first host is Win2K12 HV01 and the second host is Win2K12 HV03 so um, both uh, both cluster nodes having 12 gig of RAM so let's verify this is my primary node which is H2 HV2 and this is my secondary node which is HV03 and if I go in any of the server and open so you can see fail cluster manager is already open so let's open once again so fail over manager you can see we have a HV cluster here HV cl H HV hyphen cluster dot victim com can see we have two virtual machines running on this which is VM01 and uh, VM03 and 04 and we have two nodes here which is HV02 and HV03 and we have few cluster disk and we have network so this is our Hyper-V cluster so which we are going to add in our Veeam backup and replication so the requirement is uh, st uh, still same as we have in adding uh, Hyper-V host so just we need to make sure that uh, that was for a standalone Hyper-V host and if we are adding the Hyper-V cluster in a Veeam backup and replication we need to make sure the same prerequisite has been verified and mm, fulfilled for all the Hyper-V host which is a uh, member in a Hyper-V cluster so the first thing is file and printer sharing must be enabled and allowed through the windows firewall to add microsoft hyper-v cluster so let's verify this from veeam so i'm going to open the hv02 this time so you can see we can access file shares and hv03 both are accessible so the first part is uh, verified successful so by default uh, Veeam is going to install these three applications uh, um, uh, component on a Hyper-V host which is the same uh, as last video so Veeam installer service, Veeam data mover service and Veeam Hyper-V integration services so 
to we will verify this later on during the installation uh, or adding the Hyper-V cluster in Veeam so the second task is all Hyper-V hosts in a cluster need BIOS name and resolution from Veeam server so let's do this and verify the net BIOS name is getting resolved or no so we need to go to NS lookup and we can type the name of server direct so win to get 12 hv02 so you can see the host name is getting resolved and the IP address is also same for hv03 so this is good so first and second part is done and the next thing which is last thing we uh, we need to take care of, uh, the selected credential for the account during the installation must have administrative privilege on a Hyper-V host so in the last video what we have done we have added Hyper-V um, our service account which is here in a Veeam console you can go here and see manage credential we have added this account manually in a administrative group on the Hyper-V host here so this time uh, just for example if you have uh, a multiple host like three or four host or more than and host in a Hyper-V cluster this is not feasible to go and add every time and if someone remove that account from here then your Veeam backup is going to fail so we need to make sure somehow this is automate uh, to process uh, to add the group automatically so if we can use the GPU so I'm going to create one GPU in my Active Directory server to add Veeam or service account as administrative group so you can see uh, the all Hyper-V host is here in servers OU so we can go and create one GPU uh, for this uh, OU and we can apply the this group so I'm going to drop down here and select my OU and then create GPU and link here I'm going to call Veeam add SVC mm. Veeam in administrators. This is just to uh, explain the GPO. So, this is what we are going to do by using this GPO. And to apply this, I'm going here. Um, uh, edit GPU and under the policies windows settings security settings then we have a restricted group so we need to add restricted group here so I'm going to click on add group I'm going to browse my user or group so the user is SVC Veeam so I'm going to check this group uh, okay so uh, either we can add a group or uh, you know, uh, built-in security principle so this means we need to create one group first so let's go in AD and create a group uh, call so we can go here and create one group so call it backup admins and I'm going to oops this is created OU by default so okay we need to delete this okay, so go here and advance so it's going a bit so now we can go here properties and object then apply then we can delete this group and we need to create group so make sure you select group and you need to type the name backup underscore admins and I'm going to add my SVC account here so SVC Veeam and I'm going to check so this is verified now so we can click on apply so now we can go and check here backup admins you can see the backup admins has been identified and click on ok so you will see this option so add this group 
uh, is a member of so I'm going to type here administrators apply and member of this group I'm going to leave for now so now you can see this account is going to be a, a, a added in administrator and for this o, uh, this OU which is server so now we can go here and run the GP update on the machine and we need to wait for some time here few seconds to get the GP app policy updated so you can see computer policy updated user policy is updated successfully so now we can go in administrators and verify so you can see backup admins are now added to this Hyper-V host group so this is good news and same we can go and on other second Hyper-V host and run the GP update slash force to get the um, GP group policy updated and refresh now we can go here and under the servers you can see backup admins are added here also so this is good and now we can actually go here and verify the permission we got the administrative permission or no so before doing this mm, want to refresh this and then go here and see dollar so you can see it's asking the user account and credential means we don't have administrative access so we need to try something different here so let's log off and log in back and see again so let's log in and verify one more time so I'm going to open C and I'm going to type C dollar this time and you can see we are able to get in in the C drive so we got the administrative access and same I'm going to do with 3 so this is verified like we have got the administrative access on a Hyper-V host both Hyper-V host which is the member in the cluster so we have verified the first thing which is file and printer sharing we have uh, verified the NetBIOS name resolution for the Hyper-V hosts and we have verified that administrative credential so we are good to go and add the Hyper-V uh, cluster in a Veeam so I'm going here on backup infrastructure and then inventory we can go here and right button and add server and you can from here you can actually add a server so I'm going to type the name so let's cancel this so you can see if you want to add mic directly Microsoft server you can go here and select the Hyper-V server other you can go to the back of infrastructure and click on add server so you will get this uh, dialog box here so I'm going to add here Microsoft Hyper-V which is SSCM Hyper-V cluster standalone so I'm going to click on here then I'm going to type the name of uh, cluster which is HV cluster dot you can either type this or either you can type both uh, complete name so I'm going to type the complete name here of my cluster which is victim for soul dot com and click next and this is a Microsoft Hyper-V cluster so click next and credential I'm going to verify a C, uh, SVC Veeam for which we have added in a um, Hyper-V host administrative group so let's click next now it's validating the Hyper-V host you can see two Hyper-V host has been detected here which is HV02 and HV03 which is the uh, member in a for this cluster and go here and verify the nodes so 02 and 03 so this is good and status some components will be installed so let's click on apply 
so it's starting manage service creating temporary folders and it's going to upload the package for veeam installer and veeam data mover and hyper v veeam hyper v integration so it's going to do all the task one by one so you can verify go in add and remove and verify the package installation so you can see two services so all three services has been installed now which is a um, veeam installer veeam data mover and hyper v integration so everything is installed here on node 1 and let's verify this time on node 2 so i'm going on my node 2 here mm, which is basically a hv03 so this is also installed so now it's collecting the volume information so this is going to take some time so i'm going to uh, going to pause the recording here and going to resume once uh, uh, the Hyper-V uh, cluster is added here so going to pause the recording for now so now you can see both the server has been saved successfully click next and this will give you the information the Microsoft Hyper-V cluster this was ex uh, successfully modified and added by this user so cl click on finish and then you can see what are the host in that cluster and what the VMs are running on that cluster and VMs information also you can see and so I'm going to refresh this so this is all about how to add a Hyper-V Microsoft Hyper-V cluster in Veeam backup and replication so thank you for watching and please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any question on this you can always post me on my given mail ids thank you once again bye bye